Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Culture Dudes. Today, we're at Cooper's Hall. The hall can be found at number 13 Devonshire Square in the City of London and is home to the worshipful company of Coopers. Coopers were responsible for making casks. A barrel is just one of many different sizes of casks. And these were used to package and store most wet and dry goods that were shipped across the world. The company sits at number 36 in the hierarchy of city liveries. Its first official mention was in the year 1298. The motto of the company is Love as Brethren, which replaced the original Latin Gaudi Maria Virgo, post the Reformation, which means Rejoice, Virgin Mary. The coat of arms features three Tudor lilies and the tools of the Cooper's trade. The supporting animals are camels and the crest is a heathcock carrying a lily in its beak. As we visited on an open day, the company had especially brought out this record, showing here the swearing in oath for the master. Here we see past marks of the company. And here are past wardens. And later on past masters as well. Yeah, we were really lucky that day. This is really interesting stuff. Also on display were the ceremonial robes. These for the wardens and these for the masters. And certainly, well, at least for me anyway, one of the highlights of this pre-Georgian townhouse is this gorgeous staircase. And at the top, they have a roof light which allows the natural sunlight to cascade in all the way down to the bottom floor. Although the hall is one of the smaller ones in terms of size compared to the other livery companies, it really holds its own when it comes to the artwork. There are some really nice portraits on display. Now, story time. So, a former Cooper Lord Mayor of London was a gentleman by the name of Sir David Solomons. He served as Lord Mayor in the year 1855 and was also one of the founding members of the London and Westminster Bank, commonly known today as Nat West. So, over the course of time, the craft of coopering itself suffered a gradual decline largely due to the Industrial Revolution and the fact that the majority of the craftsmen were now employed in the brewing and whiskey industries and over time took little notice of the company's regulations. As a result, the role of the company became more ceremonial and their focus shifted towards philanthropy. So if you want to become a freeman or a liveryman of the company, there are three possible ways in. One is by patrimony, i.e. your father served within the company. B is by servitude. This means that you've served an apprenticeship for four years prior to turning eight, uh, 21. And lastly, by redemption. This is by buying into the company. Well, certainly Michele and I found this to be a very interesting find. We hope you did too. And... Uh, Please like, share, subscribe and spread the word. Tell your friends, tell your neighbours, tell your in-laws, tell everyone. And we'll see you on the next one. Till then, goodbye. Ciao, ciao.